Another great one to use is PE for polyline edit. And you can see here if I've got a polyline drawn and I type in PE enter, it's going to ask me to select a polyline. And then I can choose all of the typical P edit commands, which would be edit a vertex, fit, decurve, line type generation, reverse align, close, etc. Next up, if you didn't catch that, I typed in PL to create a polyline. So PL and enter is going to start the polyline command. This is one you're going to use a ton. And TR for trim is going to allow you to trim these. You just simply select the objects after typing in TR and hitting enter. Hit enter again and you can start by trimming things away. Next up, you can see I've got this irregularly shaped polygon over here. If I wanted to hatch that, you can simply type in H for hatch to bring up the hatch ribbon panel up here. Another one that's super useful is D and I for distance. Hitting that and typing enter is going to allow you to select any two points to get a distance down in the command line here. It's going to give you your delta as well as the total distance. If you make this a little bit taller here, you can see the total distance is 41 feet, five inches and five and three quarters inches. Now, these are just a few quick text commands, but as I mentioned, you can start typing in any command and it's going to pop up in the autocomplete and hitting enter at that point is going to activate the command for you. 